Hey guys, it's Transformers Kid 2, back with my, like, fourth review of the day. Yeah, fourth. I'm gonna save, uh, the Constructicons for another day. I just don't feel like reviewing Mixmaster, and I don't know if I ever will. But this figure, however, I really like this figure. This is Revenge of the Fallen Stratosphere. A character that appeared in the movie, but not as a transforming robot, or actually a character. But, um, his gimmick shows what he really was doing in the movie. Um, so as you can see, he is a cargo plane. These things are huge in person. i seen it. There's like a double-decker. There's windows up here, and then there's windows down here. It's... Car yeah. Um, now, a couple... One thing that Hasbro fucked up badly. You know why this hole is here? The hole is there is because something was supposed to peg into there. Fucking shuttle weapon thing. That was really cool, and they scrapped it for no fucking reason. <coughs> Excuse me. I would have loved to have that pretty cool shuttle thing that shot a missile. This guy needs a weapon. He's so damn big, he needs a weapon too. Um... I think they chose this gimmick over the gun. I don't know which one I would want more, but if you rotate the tail wings back, um, little Optimus Prime will come out. So, now we're going to have to reenact that scene real quick, because I feel obligated to do so. So, I'm going to raise my camera as high as I can to do this. Alright. We need Big Buddha delivered to drop immediately. Autobots, I'm in pursuit. Oh, parachute, I cut them off. Autobots, I'm in pursuit. Alright, so anyway, I, I, I needed to do that. I, I don't know why I needed to, but I did. And now that I got that out of the way. Uh, this little mini prime is tiny. I thought maybe they could use the Legends version, but the Legends version is huge compared to this um, little mini prime. This is like like this is like a deluxe class figure for a for a legends class maybe um transform you just bring up the arms fold down the legs come to the back here there's a little small tab here it helps you bring out the feet and the head you get no help with and you just flip out the head. And there's little mini prime. Quick size comparison to him in the legends. So this this guy's probably like Devastator. This is Devastator for for a Legends class figure. It's how big it is. Or small or big. I don't know anymore. Uh it does not really look like Prime to me. I do not like how he turned out. So anyway, back to Stratosphere, because I'm almost five minutes in. He can roll very nice, and he has these panels. One wheel, the rest are molded on. I just flip those down so it doesn't remind me. Uh, he does have a landing gear up here that folds in. So, onwards to the transformation. just want to start by taking Mini Prime out. I'll raise the camera, because he gets pretty freaking tall. Uh... What you want to do is kind of lift up the wings here. Okay, this one's giving me trouble. There we go. So you want to lift up the wings, lifting up these panels and exposing all of this, and then bring this section down, unclip it from 
there. Alright, and extend the legs. Now you do have the option of chicken legging him, um, but it makes him quite shorter, so, and it makes him look stupid, so I don't, I don't do that. I hate chicken legging figures. Um, so then we'll just take the arms here, and the automorph. It's pretty cool. They just chapow. Uh, and then his head. You just want to push it up from the bottom, and there's his head. And this thing just kind of whoop, and it pegs on. And there, stratosphere. Now the rest of his transformation is up to you with these wings. I like to bring him down a little bit. And then these tail wings I like to form an X, kind of like Rimfire does. Uh, and it looks pretty cool. He is big. Uh, and if this is to scale, I mean, this guy has got to be bigger than Devastator. Now the design of this figure is very nice. The designer of this figure should design a lot of Hasbro products. But it looks like he worked up to his knees and then was like, fuck it, there's the rest. Because uh, these are like little sticks and he has boat shoes and whatnot. His hands are a little weird. Um, and they got this little groove cut out for that shuttle that's not there. Ah. <sighs> So, he's pretty articulated, the head can rotate, arms will rotate in and out, swivel, bend at the double jointed elbows, move in and out at the fingers and thumb, uh, legs move up, back, out, swivel, bend at the knee, bend forward, and pivot at the foot. Uh, so yeah, he's pretty, pretty articulated, um, for this non-movie character. I've seen him in the movie, but he won't really in the movie. Uh, he has a Mecha Live gimmick. These little black spaces in here are gears. Uh, not very visible, actually, in person. You really got to look in. Uh, I can't show it, but I can assure you there are gears spinning. There's a gear up here that spins when you bend this part here, and two gears that spin down here when you bend that part. It's a double-jointed elbow. It has he has that on both arms. The color scheme is whack. Yeah, orange and gray and desert tan and it's so weird looking. Uh, and many prime is just like chilling on his shoulder over here or up here or maybe over falling down. Um. Okay, stand. He's kind of hard to stand because of his badonka donk feet. Um, but Mini Prime's just like chilling on his shoulder. Like, hey, I'm fucking Mini Prime. So, yeah, if this is in scale, I mean, this guy is fucking huge. I'd like to see him go up against Devastator. So, final thoughts on the figure. I, I really do like the figure. I wasn't sure I was going to like this figure either. Um, mainly because of the missing shuttle and the color scheme and the legs. Uh, but it's just a great figure. It's fun to transform. It's got some cool gimmicks. Uh, the color scheme is wacky, but you'll get over it. And he's just big, especially if you don't chicken leg him. He's pretty tall. I mean, here's Legends Jet Power Prime. So yeah, he's pretty big for Legends or a Voyager figure. Um, definitely far superior to other Voyager figures that I bought that day. I bought Megatron, Stratosphere, Mixmaster, and Demolisher that day, and I definitely like this guy the best. Then Demolisher, or then Megatron, then Demolisher, and least. Mixmaster. I hate Mixmaster. He's so damn complicated and small. Ugh. I've only played with him a couple of times and I just get frustrated. Um, so I don't know when that review will be coming. But anyway, if you can find this figure, I'd recommend picking him up. It's 20 25 bucks depending on where you get him. I know Walmart has him for $25. 
so anyways, Transformers Kid 2 rolling out. Um, it's my last video for the day. So anyway, guys, pick this figure up. Cool, cool figure. Uh, so anyway, Transformers Kid 2 rolling out.